Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to make my May favorites for you. I know I'm a little bit early, but um, I just want to do this video um, as I found a time to do this for you guys. Um, so this is my like third time making this video, so I will be going over my favorites very uh, kind of quick because um, I had to explain myself two times and my videos came out to have no audio. So, um, I had to delete those and now I'm making a new one for you guys. Um, so I want to start off with my, um, skincare. Um, they are three products here. First one is, uh, from Ole Enriksen, the True Serum Collagen Booster. Um, it's, it's like, um, it's just, it's just vitamin C. It's not so much of an oil. Although it does uh, feel like an oil, but it's really not. It's just a serum, and um, what it does is it'll it'll boost your your skin um, your your skin health. Um, vitamin C is supposed to be very very good for your skin. Um, it'll help um, make your skin feel more supple, um, have more moisture within the skin, and eventually um, help help with um, skin discoloration so um, that's that this is what it looks like it's in, this is in the sample size so it's um, very very small compared to other to the um, actual version uh, full-size version and I really love this because um, it, it smells like oranges and I really really love that smell so and it doesn't have that like I guess kind of alcohol -y type um like jelly cream or or smell this smells really really good really refreshing in the morning especially when you know you're kind of like drowsy this really wakes me up in the morning so i really love that um next one is from dior it's called uh capture total dream skin from dior and this is really good i love using this under my foundation um, it helps with skin um, pigmentation and moisture uh, so it, it helps with all that it, it makes your skin look or appear um, healthier um, you can wear this by itself no foundation needed it will um, it won't give you 100% full coverage, more like 20% full, uh, 20% coverage because it's not really supposed to be used as like a foundation, but it does hide away those really, really, um, really bad dark, uh, red spots. I have really red spots on my, on the apples of my cheeks. So this calms it down a little bit. It won't get rid of it fully, but it will calm it down, um, a lot. So it's that. Oh, and also, um, when I, when I put, when I apply makeup on top of this, um, the, or the foundation on top of this, um, my skin, the application goes on really, really smooth. It goes on very, very, um, yeah, just smooth and, and it doesn't appear flaky or, or very cakey. So that's what I love about that. And the next one is the Hydra Life by Dior. Um, it's the Pro U Survey Eye Cream. I use this on my eyelids because I get really, really dry eyelids. Um, because uh, when I take my makeup off, um, it also dries my skin out. So this puts the moisture back into my um, eyelids here. It's actually really, really um, good. It's actually better than the Chanel Hydra Beauty um, Eye Gel Cream. Um, simply because that one started to make my eyes feel a lot more irritated than this um this really helps the um the the skin a lot better so and i found that because i use this every morning and night um my my um makeup goes on much smoother uh, and more and my eyeshadow can blend a little bit easier so that's that and um, next one here um, is from Chanel. It's the CC Cream in the number 32 Beige Rosé. And I love using this, especially um, in the summer. It's starting, summer is starting um, up soon, in about a month, less than a month. 
and um, I want to use as much sun protection as I can um, with my skin because I have very sensitive skin so I tend to freckle and get a little bit more red in the face so this calms it down because of the SPF um, I feel a little bit more comfortable going outside because I have SPF on and it actually I, I sometimes um, during the day use this as its own foundation it has coverage so it's it's like BB cream but like a little bit better than CC cream or a little bit better than that um, so it's really really good I love this product a lot um, it moisturizes my face it helps to correct the skin color on my face and everything so it's that and next one here I'm still talking about the face is the YSL feather I think featherweight um, I think it's called in English the uh, matte foundation in front is called Le Tint, Le Tint Encre de Peau, and so I love this a lot. It's a very matte, light foundation. It dries really, really fast, so you have to be fast to um, um, blend that into your face or else you'll have like a spot on your face, but I love this a lot. It controls the oil on my skin for a few hours, and my at the end of the day, my skin doesn't feel so um, oily. Hi, and my next one is, um, again, last, lastly with the face, um, my Shade and Light Contour Palette by Kat Von D here. Um, I'll show you the palette itself so I can show you uh, what it looks like. Um, so this is a palette, it's like a card, it's like a very hard cardboard type encasing, but it's still really, really pretty and gorgeous at the same time. Um, so it comes with six colors and a mirror here, as you can see on the other end, on the flap there. And, um, yeah, this is, these are the six colors, so the top ones are the highlighting colors and the bottom ones are the shade colors. Um... I, I like to mix match them a lot just because I don't like my skin too dark or too light so um, I have to mix them um, just to get the right uh, color that I want um, so they're very very pigmented they're very matte um, there's no shine at all to them um, and the the color um, give is really really good you can once I use my shade and light um, brush here you can really really see the definition on the ch on the face when you're contouring especially with this uh, this end of the brush here this, this um, slanted um, end of the brush here and then I use this brush here to light and also to, for the highlight and also to blend um, so that it I don't look too too like cakey or, or fake um, as you can say so um, I love this brush and I love this palette. It doesn't make me break out because this is so soft. Um, I don't feel any ab anything abrasing my skin at all. So it's that. Um, and my next one here is um, also from Chanel. It's about is my um, Precision Eye Definer by Chanel. And this is in the number 69. There is there is no name to it, it's just 69. Um, there probably is, but I don't have the box anymore. But um, it's it's in a very um, shimmery, gunmetal, dark gray color. And it's a double-ended pencil here. So first one here, so this is the pencil here. You do have to sharpen it, but I mean, I love the position that it gives. So... Um, this says how precision it is, and the color is really, really, really nice. I'll just show you what it looks like there. So it's like a very like shimmery gunmetal um, uh, gray. I like to use this on the um, under on my under 
or my bottom lid here um, because it's not too harsh. It's dark, but it's not too harsh, and it's very shimmery, so I, I like that. And um, I don't use this end that much, but sometimes I do. Um, if I don't have any eyeshadow with me, I will use this, and I would just um, blend this in to just give me like a smoky um, eye look here. So it's that. And it's very long wearing too. Um, it doesn't transfer um, onto, onto like my on the top part of my eyelid as, as easily. So I love that about it. Um, and my next uh, one here is from Dior. It is the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl uh, Mascara. It is really, really good. My favorite mascara of all time. It's very expensive. It's like almost $40 here in Canada. But I love this product so much. I don't even have to use an eyelash curler um, to curl my lashes. I just use this and my eyelashes are instantly curled up. Um, not like as you see in commercials, but um, my eyelashes usually go down um, on my eyelid. So... But this brings it up a little bit. So I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see. But um, yeah, you can't really see because my eyelashes are really, really, really fine. But I do see like the uh, like a difference in the in the curl. So I really, really love this product a lot. I'll show you the the brush. It's a really nice um, curled brush. And the next item I have on my favorite, I haven't uh, used this as much because I just recently got this, like um, this past weekend and a bit ago. Um, but I have been using it ever since I I, I got home from the Louis Vuitton store. Um, so right when I found the opportunity that I was uh, going out, I, w I immediately grabbed my clay. This is the clay um, in the color Cerise in the Empreinte leather line. And I love this so much. It is so, so compact. You could, you could take everything with you in this small little, um, little, uh, little piece, except for your cell phone, obviously, but... Um, you can take all your cash, all your cards that you need, even your keys, and you're good to go. Um, most of the time, sometimes you don't even need a purse when you're using this because that's how versatile this little piece is. Um, I did say that I would be using this as mainly as a uh, wallet. Um, yes and no to that. Um, mostly I will be using this as a lanyard, like holder or my my id my work id holder has my i have my lanyard attached to it just on the back zipper here so my my work badge is actually attached to this lanyard and because this string here attached to my card and my lanyard are is very thin i can just like move it all the way to the very end of the zipper and it won't ever get caught or it won't ever get ruined or the zipper won't get ruined or caught or anything on this on this piece on the lanyard so that's perfect there i will just usually just wear it like this and it looks really really good i think yes it's not really meant to be used as like a lanyard or card holder but i do like wearing it like this um it looks it looks a lot like cleaner not with my name and my my um my face on the, on my card like out to the whole world when i'm walking um from place to place to do my site visit and um it has all my cards and and everything in here so um like say i need like i'm on a site visit and i need a um and i want to get a cup of coffee along the way um no problem i can just whip out my cash and my card um, all from from here and I'm good to go um, so this that I will do a full video review on this piece and a comparison um, to my monogram clay on a later video um, next one is my twin set yes I haven't had this for very long I've only used this um, once and I've worn it around um, indoors in my house um, 
quite often. Um, so, but I so far I have loved this. Um, this has always been this has been on my wish list for a very very long time, and I wanted something in on prompt, and I finally um, got something in on prompt. Um, and this is very very useful for work. It's very muted. It's not too showy because the on prompt is very very laid back. It's not too out there in your face. And it holds a lot. It actually holds a lot more than you think. And the crossbody is perfect. You can wear this strap many ways. Even though it's not detachable, you can wear this many um, other ways. And I will do a video of um, like first impressions of this um, separately to this video. So um, stay tuned for that video. And yeah, so that is my video for you guys that is um my may favorites i hope you guys enjoyed um i'm sorry this this was kind of like a long video but i did have a lot of stuff that i wanted to share with you guys that i've been loving this month and if you have any questions about any of these items makeup wise or ham or the handbags or slgs or whatever please leave in the comments below and i will uh get back to you as soon as possible um and also follow me on instagram katherine is a cat um i update that more my instagram account more often than my youtube channel um because it's 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 instant um I, you, you can get instant updates and whatever so thanks everyone and i hope you all have a great fantastic day Bye bye